Hey, I'm Chair Medler, where I review news videos usually of a sensational nature and I give you my opinion. Even though you asked for my opinion, that's what makes me an armchair meddler. So let's see, what do we have today? Something about a crazy lady setting a boyfriend on fire. A uh, Lake City woman arrested, accused of setting her boyfriend on fire. Okay, so yeah. Uh, yeah, but before we get into this video, please make sure you press the like button and also make sure you're subscribed and I want to remind you that I have not watched this video. I will be experiencing it along with you for the first time. So now that that's out of the way, let's not delay. Let's get into the video. Lake City woman's in jail tonight after police say she set her boyfriend on fire. 37-year-old Stephanie Britton is charged with two counts of aggravated battery. Her alleged victim is a 72-year-old man. Okay, so I'm just standing here shaking my head. And, uh, you, you know, there's there's that saying that there's where, where the person looks like they're guilty. I'm just looking at this picture. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just looking. I see a deranged person in that picture. This is just horrible. I, I, I know innocent until proven guilty. But I'm just like looking at the picture and I am just like, keep this woman away from lighter fluid. That's all I have to say. Keep her away from lighter fluid and gasoline. Because <laughs> that just looks like a deranged individual that's at least what i suspect okay i suspect it i have to say that but yeah only a suspicion okay let's get back into the video he was rushed to the hospital late saturday night with first degree burns to his head back and hands news for jack reporter eric godman joining us live from lake city where eric you spoke with that man yeah, he is now out of the hospital and he's resting here at home. Uh, and I have to tell you that, you know, he's, he's doing pretty well. Okay, with all those burns, I'm not exactly how, sh I'm not exactly sure how well he's resting with all those burns. Because that sounds, the way that they describe it, that sounds like it has to be extremely painful. So I don't know how much rest he's getting. However, his uh, girlfriend, living girlfriend, she's now in jail, charged with, uh, as you say, the, uh, the battery. She's accused of dousing him with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and then setting him on fire. I'm, uh, I'm doing good because I'm alive. 72-year-old Herman Humphreys is out of the hospital and knows he is lucky to have survived an order. Wait a second. Okay. He just said something. I think that was English. I need to hear that again. I'm doing good because I'm alive. 72-year-old Herman. Okay, I think he said, I'm doing good. Of course, I'm alive. Okay. Humphreys is out of the hospital and knows he is lucky to have survived an ordeal many of us would never want to go through. But being on fire, it's not a good feeling. I'll put it to you that way. It hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be laughing. But he said... Being on fire is not a good feeling. Okay, I'm glad that he clarified that because I was thinking, you know, maybe, hey, maybe it feels good to be on fire. I, I don't know. Okay, I shouldn't be making a joke about that, but he said it. He said it. Being on fire, of course, being on fire is not a good feeling. Let me see. I just want to re rewind that, make sure that's what he said. Being on fire is not a good feeling. I put it to you that way. It hurts. You better believe it. It hurts. Late Saturday what? night, Lake City police arrived at Humphrey's home where they found him suffering from first degree burns to his head, his back, and his hands. Yeah. Humphreys Damn. told officers that his live in girlfriend, 37 year old Stephanie Britton, purposely set him on fire by pouring rubbing alcohol onto his head and then igniting the alcohol with a cigarette lighter. I was getting ready to go outside because I was trying to get away from her. I didn't want to be around her. Okay, so I'm just going to say the obvious here. Uh, there seems to be a bit of an age gap there. Uh, this man seems somewhat elderly, and the female, the woman, the girlfriend, is, I believe they said, 37 years old. And uh, I don't know. It kind of looked like one of those situations where 
someone is just looking for a place to stay, that being the girlfriend. And uh, I think that there's something mental going on there with the girlfriend, even before the whole fire incident. There's you just look at that picture and it just looks like there's something not quite right. And this is what she is. Threw the alcohol on me right here and set me on fire. According to fire experts, rubbing alcohol is highly flammable and can reach temperatures of up to a thousand degrees after it's ignited. A neighbor who asked not to be identified says what happened to Humphreys is very unusual. You hear gunshots around here, you hear about people being stabbed, you hear about all kinds of crazy outbreaks around, but I've never heard about someone being set on fire, especially right next door. Humphreys told police that moments prior to being set on fire, he was in the bathroom when Britton ignited this mattress. He said he put out the blaze before walking out onto the screened-in porch where he says Britton set him on fire. Investigators Whoa. say there was a strong smell of rubbing alcohol throughout the house, and they say the sheets on this burned mattress were still wet with a substance that smelled like rubbing alcohol. Investigators also found an empty bottle of rubbing alcohol near where Humphreys was set on fire. Britton was arrested and charged with two counts of aggravated battery. Okay, so I guess they haven't gotten into it yet, but... What was her reason for setting him on fire? Was there a fight? You know, uh, you know, an argument argument between the two? What I'm trying to understand why this woman uh did this. Did you ever forgive her for that? Uh me being the person that I am, I would say I can. What did I tell you? Dude. You need to change the locks on your house. Okay. Change the locks on your doors. Do it. Do it immediately if you have not done it already. Uh, this this suspect, there is something seriously wrong with her. Okay. She, it sounds like she wanted to burn that house down. And then she, she set you on fire. So she could have easily burned that house down with you inside of it. So yeah, dude, you gotta change those locks. You might need to leave the state, change your name, all of that, just disappear. Get away from this lady. I don't know if she's ever getting out of out of jail or out of prison. You need to change your name, relocate, all that. Go into the witness protection program because this woman is out of her mind. What it won't be that easy. Now, although Britton was charged with two counts of aggravated battery, an attorney not affiliated with this case says that the state attorney's office could, in fact, upgrade those charges to attempted murder. Reporting Please live in that. Lake City, Eric Avenue, Channel that. 4, the local station. Eric, do we know at this point why this happened? So Humphreys told me that this all started from a verbal argument, just a verbal disagreement that went too far. However, the arrest report states that this all started from an argument about Humphreys hanging out with another woman. All right. Eric Avenue reporting live. Oh, yeah. Hang out with those other women. Get you burned every time. OK, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But. Uh, yeah, uh, man. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about this, but get away from this woman. She clearly has uh, serious mental issues. Uh, very scary. I would not be surprised to, to find out if sh she had a previous criminal record, maybe even uh, some sort of psychiatric uh, record. Yeah, she needs a psychiatric evaluation. Like I said before, innocent until proven guilty. She's just a suspect at this point in time. But, dude, you can't be messing with those other women. I know you're trying to be a player, you know, but you're a little bit too old for that. You uh, play with fire, you're going to get burned. Don't don't do it. Hopefully you've you've learned uh, from your ways. But uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up. This story was just a, a bit too much for me. Uh, a little bit scary. Wow. OK. Other men, if you're watching at home, you, you've seen the picture of this woman, stay clear. Stay clear. Okay. Unless you want to get burned, stay clear. 
But that's going to wrap up this episode of The Armchair Meddler. Once again, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Also press that like button. Hope to see you on the next episode.